Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today I'll be talking more about identity property of a particular table column. In my previous video, I talked about the introduction of identity property and we created a sample employee table having these particular columns. Okay, and the employee ID column we set as the identity property having seed as 100 and increment as 1 and we inserted few sample records and the first three records that we inserted we saw that the employee ID value the, for the first record was set as 100 and for the next two records it was just incremented one by one and the fourth record that we entered was by switching the identity property off okay for this particular table and with this we were able to insert the explicit value of employee ID as equal to 1000 okay and after inserting this value we enabled the identity property back and you know we saw that the fifth record that was inserted without applying the employee ID it got the employee ID as 1001 that was chosen by SQL Server. So we saw the current behavior of this identity property that it resumes the next value with the current and the latest value present in the table column right. So today in this video we are going to see how we can check and reseed identity value of a particular table column. Okay, so to check the identity value of a particular table there is a very simple statement that is dbcc check ident followed by the table name as the first parameter right. So if you just execute this statement right you will get to know that the current identity value is 1001 and the current column value is 1001 okay so this is a very simple way to you know use it right now let's check how we can reseed the identity value of a table right so why do we need to reseed the identity value right what what would be the reason to reseed it as you can see in this table the sample records here right we started with 100 101 102 and then we you know inserted 1000 and we saw that you know the next record that got inserted was 1001 so now let's say we want to resume after 102 we want the next record that the sixth record to be set as 103 we want the employee id to be set as 103 so how we can do that so that can be done by reseeding the identity column value right and how we can do that we can just extend the dbcc check ident statement that we used above by using two more parameters that is second parameter as a receipt and the third parameter as the receipt value right so to have the sixth record value as 103 we need to reseed it with 102 right so the current value of this table will become 102 instead of 1001 right so let's execute it so it has changed to 102 but although you know SQL Server does not show you the correct information on its current execution but if you again execute it it will show you that the current identity value has been changed to 102 okay now there is one more way to check it the previous statement that I sh show you that is dbcc check ident with the employee table okay if I execute it it shows that the current identity value is 102 and the current column value is 101 okay now let's insert one record right and let's execute it okay and let's check it okay so we see that you know the record inserted was 1002 not 103 why because the dbcc check ident statement with only the table name as the first parameter not only gives you the status of the entity value but it recedes the value with the largest value in the column right and we saw that you know the largest value is 1001 okay we recede the value to 1002 it was receded successfully but when we ran this statement right it it receded back to 1001 from 102 right so whenever you are executing this statement right with only one parameter always be very very careful right so if you just want to check the identity value what is the current identity value always use the no reseed option or I would say don't use this statement at all right with just the table name always use the dbc check indent with the table name and with the options of either reseed or no reseed right so use so use reseed whenever you want to reseed the column value use no receipt when you don't want to receipt and you just want to retrieve the value right so let's go ahead and try to receipt it with 102 okay so this has been reset to 102 okay and now let's again go back and check with the no receipt option right so if I execute it it shows me that 102 okay let's again execute and check it it always shows me 102 as the current entity value right so with no receipt option it does not receipt right and with without this um, parameter this will always recede so better not to use this option at all okay now let's insert the second record okay and let's check it 
so we can see that you know the next record that was inserted got 103 as a value right so okay so this is all about checking the current identity value and receiving the entity value and using the correct option while checking the entity value that is the no receipt option right so uh, that's it for today and i'll be covering more about entity property in my next video so please stay tuned and uh, please like the video if you really like it and please let me know your comments and suggestions and if you want me to cover something else and uh, please subscribe my video by subscribing you will get to know about the latest video that i'll add okay thank you very much